birthday, girl. Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> mm. Here. Because you're going to wear this shirt. Pull it up. There you go. Brad got me a bandana. <laughs> and she decided it was her tube top. Whose birthday is it today? Uh, me. The uh, birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Addie. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so today, Addie's three. You're three. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> So today, we don't really have anything really planned yet. Um, I kind of have an idea of what might happen today. I have a doctor's appointment today. I have to go to my cardiologist. That's not until like this afternoon. Mom, look, it's me. It is you. Look, I'm bumping my nose. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really have any like party thing planned um yeah mom <laughs> i don't really i mean what do you do during a freaking pandemic like this like i want more than anything to have let me see if i can set this here <laughs> hi mommy hi to have a birthday party we didn't last year and Hello, i don't remember why whoops um, oh, I gotta charge my battery, it's blinking. Um, but I mean, this year, obviously, there's a pandemic, so I don't really know what to do. I don't wanna risk anyone being sick. My kids are staying home for the school year, or like, it's Mom, so confusing. I want lips. Okay, you can do lips. So, in elementary school, school starts August 3rd, and they're doing it <laughs> they're doing it the um like a digital online learning i'm probably saying that wrong until i think september and then i guess it's like a wait and see kind of thing like how everyone does on it and how the numbers are with the virus which i don't see it going away anytime soon mm -hmm. so yeah what was the point in me telling you this oh no i'm kind of just like looking at like other options for like online school I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just, whoa, whoa, hold on, you gotta put it back in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just kinda looking at stuff, looking at our options. That was not the whole reason. I am not awake today. So, the whole like not having a party. So, you know, I'm not sending my kids to school because, ooh, okay, let's stop playing with that, okay? You're gonna make a mess. Thank you. Your lips are so pretty. <laughs> so yeah, why do like a big party when, when I'm not sending my kids to school? Mom, I'm doing that. Yeah, you did. You got a little dot right there. So yeah, I have a cardiologist appointment today. Um, it's just like a one year follow up, even though it's kind of late. <laughs> I think it's like two months later than it should be. But I'm going to that today around like 3.30. So just kind of... I don't know what we're gonna do until then. What's up, my dude? Mom. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask you that. Can we go at Poppy's house today? Because Granny can have the presents for Addie. Oh, she has presents for Addie? Yes. I'm gonna have to talk to Dad about that, okay? Okay, well, yes. Granny's house. I'm doing on a walk. Hi, guys. I'm back. So, remember how I said that I needed to go to a cardiologist appointment today. And I, I know that like I've said this before where I'm like, this is just life for me. Like this stuff happens all the time. <gasps> like I'm, I'm not even joking. Either it happens to everybody and I just like feel like a victim all the time. Or, oh my gosh, I get myself the hiccups. Or I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't handle it very well, but <sighs> I think it's. Um, I went to my cardiologist appointment 
all week like or a few weeks <laughs> I've been talking to my doctor because I had to get a referral to go to go to my <laughs> I'm so sorry to go to a cardiologist because of my insurance they needed a referral so they would cover it and I've changed the insurance since the last time I went so that's why <laughs> so <laughs> Oh my god. Um, so they've been calling me saying that they need that referral, right? So I, I went to the doctor, I got a referral, I got it printed out, and then I've been trying to get them to send it to them, like to fax it, and they've sent over my blood work, but they never sent over the referral. So I've been going back and forth, back and forth, and like, I was like, well, I have, I have the written one, so can I like send it to y'all? And they're like, do you have a copy? And I'm like, no, mine broke last year, and I still haven't got, gotten a new one. So I was like, can I just like take a picture of it and see if like, if I bring it in, if that would work. And so I took a picture, emailed it directly to the girl I was talking to, who was, who was awesome. And she said, yes, that will work, like blah, blah, blah. So I was all set to go to to the, the cardiologist today because of that piece of paper. I went in, y'all. Apparently my, <laughs> my appointment was canceled because the doctor had to leave. So the doctor, my doctor had to leave so they had to reschedule it so i go outside and i call my husband and he's like in line at the drive through getting the kids food and he's like i'll be right there i'll be right there i'm like oh, don't worry about it don't rush well then he comes in he's like get quick get in the car get in the car my minivan was overheating y'all i need to either figure out what the heck is going on with this minivan which if you've been following for a while i thought i was being responsible getting the the used minivan. I didn't need anything new. I didn't. I knew I couldn't do car payments, and thank goodness because my car would have been repossessed thanks to this freaking pandemic. So with that, I know I made the right decision. But before we even bought it, we took it to a mechanic and had it looked at. The stuff that he looked at was minor. It was minor things that would have become problems down the road. But no, as soon as I purchased. <laughs> The minivan, the light came on. That was over a year ago. Paid thousands and thousands of dollars to get it fixed. Oh my gosh, just stop. To get it fixed, had to take it to the dealership, to the Chrysler dealer dealership. And they said it was fixed. They said it was fine. They said it was working perfectly. Probably a week later or days later. I don't go far, I don't go far places, but as soon as it hit a certain, certain amount of miles the light came on and now it's acting bad again I like I said I don't leave I go to doctor's appointments and I only started going back to doctor's appointments like during this pandemic like I have strictly stayed home mine is going to the neighborhood pool and there's either like one family there or no one there like I'm and the sun has to be like hitting the pool I don't know what the heck to do anyway so it was overheating it was beeping all of a sudden it's like hot right the little stick thing is like all the way over maybe it's like this way for you guys but it, it it was in the red it was beeping and then all of a sudden it goes cold but there's still hot air coming out of it and still beeping I'm pretty sure the thermostat went out again my husband just replaced that it's just not drivable right now literally because of this minivan I picked a doctor's office for my children and my family our primary caregiver to be in walking distance of us so we don't mix miss any more vaccinations so we don't miss any more doctor's appointments. So for whatever reason, I can push their little butt up the hill in a stroller. Okay, I don't know where I was at, but I know I was talking about the minivan, that it was overheating and yeah. So hopefully it just needs something like a new thermostat, but I don't think so. Or even it could, it could be something simple as needing more coolant. I don't know, I haven't looked. It's too hot to look right now. It's too hot outside and it's too, the like literal minivan is too hot. So I hope one day that I have a vehicle that's not problematic. I Because you go potty in the potty like a good girl. Yeah, oh, that's yours. It's your Elsa outfit. Look. 
Got an Elsa dress. You need to take her off. Her shoes. Yeah. You want to show them your Elsa baby or your Elsa doll? No. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up before I forget. I have a lot of cleaning to do tomorrow. I pretty much like skipped on my cleaning today because I was just not like mentally there. And as much as I wanted to clean because I like. Um, I like I wanted it to be clean in the background and it just didn't happen. It was just a stressful day. Like, my anxiety is just. Happy birthday, Addie. Happy birthday. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.